it's very tragic anytime we have a homicide, but being it's a 16-year-old kid, he had his whole life ahead of him. And um, unfortunately, these people um, took his life way too early. A teen's mother heartbroken after her son is killed at a soccer field in early March. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Berugia and Alexon is on assignment tonight. A mother speaking out after the murder of her teenage son. 16-year-old Ignacio Limas Vasquez was shot Friday outside an early March soccer field. 18-year-old Jesus Fernandez and 19-year-old Vanessa Macias now in custody for that shooting. Detectives say it does not appear to be gang-related. A.J. Cotto talked to family and has his mother's emotional plea. This is where Ignacio was killed. Detectives say there was a fight and he was gunned down right outside this field. <laughs> Raquel Lemus Vasquez heartbroken. Her son Ignacio Lemus Vasquez killed in early March Friday. Era un muchacho muy bueno. Raquel says her son was always a good kid and was well liked in their Alpa community. Sus brazos y sus caricias. She says she'll miss his hugs and dances. Homicide detectives say around 10:20 Friday night, 18-year-old Jesus Fernandez and 19-year-old Vanessa Macias met Ignacio near Howard Road and Washington Ave in early March. They did know the victim. Um, they've known each other for some time, um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, an argument led to a shooting, and he ended up getting shot. Lieutenant Joe Torres did not say who pulled the trigger or how many shots were fired, but says Ignacio died on scene after being hit in the upper torso. From everything we're getting, um, he was a good kid. I mean, it's very tragic anytime we have a homicide, but being it's a 16 year old kid, he had his whole life ahead of him. And um, unfortunately, these people um, took his life way too early. Torres is not ready to release a motive, but Raquel says Fernandez and Macias were dating and says her son spent a lot of time with Macias. Witnesses helped identify the suspects. They were both taken into custody and face murder charges. Detectives are still searching for the gun. It's already taken one life. We don't want another. Quiero justicia y que nunca salgan de la cárcel. Raquel says she now wants justice for Ignacio and wants Fernandez and Macias to stay behind bars. There is a GoFundMe set up for funeral expenses for the family. I'll include that link online at yourcentralvalley.com. In early March, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.